All right, so in the last video we covered scope functions and this is going to be a small extension on that because I found out at the bottom of the scope function documentation there was this small section that included two new functions that I have not read about before and that is take if and take unless. So let's get started immediately by creating an example as always. So we'll write value number and that's going to equal a random number of type int. So we're gonna write next int and that's going to be until the number 100. And of course we need to import the random. So we have to choose this kotlin.random and everything will be perfect. Then right below we are going to create a program that tells us whether a number is odd or even. And let's go ahead and get started immediately. So the first one we're gonna write is even or null and it's going to equal the number and we are gonna call take if on it. And then we are going to refer to the number by typing in it. And we're going to use the modulus operator and is divisible by two. Then we will print that it is even. Otherwise we will print null. And an easy way to look at this one is take if returns the object if it evaluates the true. So if this is true, we will get the number that was even. Otherwise we will get null as a response. And then immediately under we are going to create value odds or null and that's going to also take the number and instead of take if we're going to write take unless so this takes exactly the same lambda expression as the one above with the exception that this one if it prints an odd number it will still print the number to the console that is because if it evaluates to false it prints the number otherwise if it's evaluated to true it will not print the number so as you can see take unless returns the object if it evaluates to false so 57 here will be returned and 57 here will not be returned. And then we will add a print line statement below. And here we write even and we will insert even or null. And then we write odds and we will insert odd or null. So if we go ahead and play this program, you'll see that if the even number turns out to be an odd number, it will not print it to the even side. It will print it to the odd side. Now let's go ahead and click play again. Now you'll see that it is still odd because it is 39 and it will print it because this evaluated to false, which means it will be printed. Now let's see if we can find a even number. So here we got the number of 42 when we generated the random int. So since it evaluated to true, we print it even. Otherwise it would be printed to null. So those are the basics on how to use the take if and take unless functions but I can go over one more example just in case you didn't get it. And this one is going to create a value of string, which is going to equal hello in lowercase letters. And that is because we want to create a function that will turn this string all to caps. So let's create a value called caps and that's going to equal our string. And we're going to write take if it which is referring to string is not empty. And of course it must not be empty or else the program will not work. So we have to add the nullable type at the end and we need to write to uppercase. Then we can just go ahead and print line the caps. So what we did here is we created a string of hello. Then we created a value of caps and we used the string value with the take if function to check if it is not empty and since this evaluated to true, we could finish this statement and we could print it to caps. Otherwise, if this evaluated to false, then we would return null here, which means this whole statement wouldn't exist. So let's go ahead and click on play and you can see that we capitalized the whole string hello. Now let's pretend we didn't insert anything and we click on play and you can see that since we wrote nothing in here, it wrote null inside here, which means instead of crashing and not doing anything, it just decided to assign the value of null to caps and it printed out the value of null. So it's kind of like an Elvis operator in a way, but instead of having an either or else, you will just have the value of null printed if nothing happens. But anyways, that's all I wanted to show you in this take if and take unless tutorial. I hope this helped and I hope you learned something new. But with that being said, I believe I'm going to move on to coroutines but that doesn't mean I'm done with the Kotlin series just yet. That is because I'm sure I will find other things that I have forgotten about and that I still have to include in this series. But for now, I believe that's all I wanted to cover for the basics of Kotlin. And I will see you guys in the next video.